Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be looking at insulating the hot end. We're going to do it on the Wanhao as our example machine here. And one of the things you can see is up in one of the corners anyway, I have um, a thermal image of what this looks like from the FLIR camera. So one of the things with the FLIR, it only goes up to 120 degrees C. And I have this head right now set at uh, 190, so it's reading the maximum, but I think you can see the color. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is kind of reference it from that. So what a viewer wrote in and, and mentioned is they had used this particular ceramic tape. I get it up here in the frame. This particular ceramic tape to insulate their hot end, uh, especially for using, um, you know, higher temperature filaments such as uh, PETG, or um, uh, TPU, things like that, where you're getting up into the higher temperature range, what happens is it keeps more of the heat in and it keeps a tighter temperature fluctuation because you might, might have remembered back to the episode which I did on temperature fluctuations on this machine. So I figured this is a good one to, to, uh, to do. So this one's going to be sort of a rough experiment because what I'm going to do is, is I ha <clears throat> have the reference right now from the FLIR camera. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to use this to wrap the hot end of the uh, uh, extruder uh, and then see what the temperature signature of it looks like. I'm hoping and suspecting that once I put that ceramic tape on, it's going to be a lot less. How am I going to exactly put the ceramic tape on? I'm not exactly sure, and I'll talk about that after I do it and you know share some tips with you guys and we'll come back and we'll look at the uh, uh, you know FLIR signatures, temperature signatures afterwards. Now I am going to let this cool down before I attempt to put the tape on it so just FYI let it cool down if you're going to do this. I also have the links, I got the tape on Amazon so I have the link below for this tape if you're interested and we'll see if this makes a difference so I'm going to go and uh, let it cool down and tape it up Welcome back. So we've uh, insulated the Wanhao hot end and uh, as you can see from the FLIR image I put up in the corner it's running about 90 degrees with this. So what did I do and how did I do it? Well let me let me zoom back out and I'll explain a little bit uh, what I did and how I did it. So the first thing I did was I took the ceramic tape, I took two pieces and put, put it across the bottom on each side and wrapped it up so it came up about the length of the hot end on each side. And then what I did is I took five pieces at one and a half times the circumference of the hot end roughly and wrapped it around going counterclockwise, clockwise and then you know just kept repeating that alternating uh, pattern. What that did is that then um, allowed me not to have an end ending at the same spot so all the ends are staggered. Then what I did is I took two pieces of Kapton tape of similar length and wrapped it around again clockwise counterclockwise. Now my hope is is that this the Kapton tape will get hard over time and kind of uh, provide an encasement kind of shaped around the hot end. Now you see the wires back here I didn't get two pull, pull on those at all so it's kind of just loose and then on the sides where I met up the ends and that's why I went with about one and a half times the length is so I could get the ends on the sides rather than on the front and I kind of arranged my starting and stopping points for that. So, so far it looks, I, I'm pretty impressed with the insulative abilities of this. So, uh, pretty interesting. So, I'm going to give it some shots and, and you know, test it out on some uh, various filaments and see if it improves, uh, you know, its stability and it's also heat retention because a number of, uh, of viewers had written me and when, when I did the uh, pit episodes you know that number one I need to insulate this and I'll get a lot better results because I'll get uh, more stability out of the thermistor in here or the thermocoupler whichever it is and um, they could be right so we'll see how this goes so I want to share this I'll have the links below to both the ceramic tape and the Kapton tape that I use so if you want to do it um, the resources are there. I just got them off Amazon. It was re relatively cheap and there's tons of it. So I do plan, if this works out good, uh, to do my other printers also uh, in a similar fashion. So, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe button will be coming over there. And, hey, don't forget to swag shop up in the corner. And we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.
please click like below and subscribe to the channel.